If you're a parent of a student, no doubt you've been wrestling with the decision of whether to send your child back to school next month. We've been following the different school districts and what their plans are for kids this upcoming school year. But today, our Sherry Matsuzawa looked into how many people have already made the decision to go to school online. Shira, tell us what you learned. Well, Tammy, it's a tough decision for parents for sure, but when it, you add it all up together, it's clear that right now more and more parents are raising their hands for a virtual learning experience. A couple online schools I spoke with today are even reporting enrollment increases in the double digits. Hi, I'm Mrs. Petty, and today we're going to talk about sentences. Online learning, sentence? it's a task many traditional schools across Idaho are now grappling with as the COVID-19 pandemic stretches on. But it's something virtual schools, like the Idaho Technical Career Academy, have been doing for years. And as a virtual school, we weren't held up by some of the challenges faced by other schools that teach students in a face-to-face -face environment. Monty Pittman is the head of the high school, which focuses on occupational programs and not only teaching students academics, but also skills needed in the workforce. He says from July of last year to July of this year, enrollment is up 45%. We are starting to see more and more students raise their hand and inquire about attending our school. Pittman says parents tell him they're now considering virtual schools because there's an element of uncertainty when it comes to how traditional in-person schools will handle schooling moving forward. He adds new developments in health orders in the pandemic also are impacting a lot of parents' decisions, like Ada County's recent mask mandate. That bit of information might cause some parents to be concerned about the student safety. And they're not the only ones seeing a spike in enrollment. At Empower and Inspire Connections Academy schools. Typically during the school year, our um, staff serve statewide about 1,100 students. Karen Haynes says the K through 12 school is seeing a 40% increase in enrollment, but she admits those enrollment numbers aren't final. We have a lot of families that are enrolling with us as a placeholder until they know exactly what their local school may do. Here's what some of the local districts are seeing. As of Thursday, more than 3,500 students enrolled in Boise Online School. That's 14% of students in the Boise School District. In the West Ada School District, more than 1,400 of its more than 40,000 students have either started or completed the application for the virtual schoolhouse. It's just a really challenging time for the schools, the brick and mortar schools, as well as the parents and the families to decide what is the best situation for their own individual child. Empower and Inspire and Connections Academy says they know virtual schools aren't for everyone, so parents and students need to make sure it's a good fit for their families. Now, they also tell me they too were impacted by the pandemic because it forced them to cancel their in-person field trips and events, but they're now moving toward virtual field trips. Both schools also tell me they've added social emotional counseling services for their students to deal with what's happening in the world right now. Tammy. Okay, thanks for bringing us that share.